incoming transmission. Greetings everybody and welcome back to today's episode of Space Ducktober. Yes, the challenge continues with a daily video featuring some cool starships and builds from across sci-fi franchises. <laughs> Mainly Star Trek, surprise, surprise, but there's going to be a few little odd ones in there too. Today, we feature the USS Kelvin NCC-0514. This was a 315 meter long Kelvin type light cruiser class operated by Starfleet during the 23rd century. And in 2233, I love that year, uh, the Kelvin was under the command of Captain Richard Rabau, I think is how you pronounce the name, I can't remember. But I do remember his first officer, as that was Lieutenant Commander George Kirk. Yes, that was James Tiberius Kirk's father. And um, yeah, this ship was fairly big. It had 800 crew and primarily tasked with stellar surveying. Now, this ship uh, unknowingly got a place in history when Spock, uh, yeah, and the Narada <laughs> split the timelines. I'm not going to get into the whole Kelvinverse side of things as well. But this happened before the split, so this ship was in operation before the, the timelines went uh, their funny way. And uh, yes, this ship uh, was destroyed in an attack by the Narada, and uh, George Kirk uh, helmed the ship to the very last moment, allowing a huge amount of the crew, uh, including his uh, pregnant wife and uh, soon-to-be-born child, escape. Uh, yeah, a crazy situation. But back to the ship. This is actually, hand on heart, this is probably one of my favourite Starfleet ships for multiple reasons. Uh, I love the detailing in the movie representation of this, and this is a lovely model, no doubt. But something, I, I just like the profile of this ship and the proportions, the very, very large saucer section, the extremely large registry akin to like naval ships. Um, that we see and have seen over the last uh, century. And I, I don't know, I, like the, the, the long single nacelle slung underneath, which, you know, when you're looking at the kind of, the, the science around uh, faster than light, you know, that centrally mounted nacelle generating a warp bubble and powering the ship and then having the, the, the star drive section above or the deflector section or the engineering section however you'd like to call it above with the shuttle bay in there as well which had the stacked shuttles if you remember i just i just like the design made so much sense to me but equally at the same time was such a new uh form factor not exclusively new in every sort of fashion but just a, a quirky play on some familiar parts and uh yeah i really really like uh the uss kelvin and uh i'm curious to know what you folks think as well it's been almost five years since i've reviewed this um looking back on my channel it was the 20th of october uh five years ago could you believe it and uh yeah really really nice model and uh, super happy that uh it has made an appearance on space october it wasn't that long ago that we reviewed the jellyfish as well so yeah a little bit of a bookend there but anyway let's wrap it up there for today's video thanks for taking the time out of your day to stop by and check it out if you can stay happy stay healthy stay sane and uh stay tuned for more space october videos and i will see you in the next one take it easy and goodbye